Hello and welcome to another episode of Wanna Be Entrepreneur, the podcast about what's really like to bootstrap a company. My name is Tiago, your host, the guy that has been talking to you for more than 150 episodes now. And uh, today I want to do a recap, it's a recap episode to what I've been up to today. And uh, it was supposed to be an interview, but I didn't have the time to do the proper editing. So soon, probably tomorrow, there'll be the interview. So let's get started with my recap. And uh, I want to start with Change It. As you know, because I told you in the previous episodes, I'm working on a new feature, a feature that allows users to create their own notifications. And as a side note for uh, someone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, Change It is my main project alongside with this podcast and it's a climate change app that helps people to live a more sustainable lifestyle and i have notifications notifications is my unique selling point is something that no other climate change app has at least to the point that i have i have daily notifications with personalized content that help people live a more sustainable life and and to achieve their goals and one of my biggest issues was to create content because i want to have personalized content for each country and not having or being only one it was really hard to be able to create this especially for all the countries so by opening these up for all the other changed users i i am not only automating this process because then they will be creating the notifications i my my role is just to approve them and uh, also i'm making the app more interesting right because then i'm giving the chance to users to contribute and to have a higher impact in their community and what i'm doing is if now you write a notification you define the country and then i use this notification i put it in my pipeline of uh, of the, the pipeline that basically sends a notification to my users and it's already automated and uh, it works in a, in a way that it sends this notification in a personalized way. So if you have certain actions, if you commit to achieve certain goals and uh, this notification matches those goals, then you will get this notification. So super excited about this. I just released for Android and it's funny because I just released it and it says that it's published, but now I just tried to install it on my phone, but the new update is still not ready. So I guess it takes a while to spread to all the um, the markets but soon it will be ready and then i will start by sharing with my discord community i have a discord community for change it and i have some highly engaged users and i'm really ha- hoping to get them um, motivated to create their first notifications and then uh, i hope that this will also increase the retention because people will have more interest and um, there's a bigger motivation for them to come to the um, app also because i show the metrics of each notification to the users and with that i mean that users can actually see how many people open their notifications how, how many times the notification was sent so and it gives a little bit of motivation and it's a great way for you to measure actually the impact of your notification so that's something that i'm really excited about and uh, moving on to another topic which is this podcast and uh, today i had a very interesting conversation that will be out probably next week with a uh, caveat and um, it, it's it's funny because we're, we're talking about something that um, i guess i i never realized you know this kind of facts that you kind of always knew but you never actually realized it you know, you never perceived it. And um, that's what happened today because we were talking about ways to launch your product and to bootstrap bootstrap marketing, basically. And she told me that she also uses Reddit, but Reddit worked very well in the beginning, in the launch. But then after a while, she ended up also like me to get banned from certain subreddits and the engagement of their her posts were much lower. And it's interesting because Reddit 
it's a great tool to launch a product. I would compare Reddit with Product Hunt. It's it's great because, especially if I think about changing and I think about, about this podcast, my first posts, all of them had like more than 100 upvotes and a lot of feedback. But once I repeated the same post, of course, with different copy, different text, people just lost their interest. So it's great to get your initial users, but it's not great for a long-term marketing strategy. And for that, Twitter is much better because it takes more time for Twitter to ramp up and get some uh, views and people engaging, but it's slowly, gradually increasing. So this is something that we just realized in this conversation alongside with a lot of other interesting topics that you'll be able to listen next week. And uh, also, as I as I told you, I'm thinking on reducing the number of days of this podcast. And I want to build this with you, right? We are the bootstrapping community. We should build this podcast together. I want this podcast to be the podcast for bootstrappers. So I'm using Twitter also to, alongside with you on Twitter, define what should be the perfect, ideal, uh, wannabe entrepreneur podcast how it should look, li- look like and I shared a survey that so far already had I think 11 people voting which is great for surveys and I asked how often I should I actually release I said uh, w- between 1 and 5 days so 1 day, 2 days, 3 days and so far the 2 days per week is winning with I think 60% of the votes so now I just have to think about, and that's why what I'm kind of thinking, what should be each episode. One each episode will be f- for sure the interview. The other one should be some kind of recap of my projects, what I've learned, my feelings. So, but then I'm missing some part. I'm missing also the these other little gigs I should I used to do, like the building public reviews and some other interesting stuff. So I don't know where that should you know, fit in. So maybe I could do like two per week and then one extra just for members or two per week and then one extra maybe every other week or something. So I have to think about it. And I would love again to get your feedback. You have my Twitter. My Twitter is in the description. Today, someone actually sent me a message on Change It email saying that um, she didn't find my social media. But it's on everything is on the show notes. So every tool I speak about, the link where you can become a member or buy me a coffee, my Twitter, everything is in the description of this episode. So you can just use your tool. If you use Spotify or if you use Pocket Test, just go to the description and you can check it out there or you can also go to the wannabe-entrepreneur.com website and then i also have everything linked there so make sure you use twitter to to help me there and the the question here is then should i do three or two episodes and if i'm doing only two can i do an extra one just for members would that make sense or would you just be upset and say no tiago i, I don't want to pay you so please don't make anything for members i i want to hear your thoughts and um, i will also keep you up to date in in the change it new release and i i will let you know how people react to it how the community react to it and if i'm getting new notifications or not and um, yeah that, that's it for today this was another wannabe entrepreneur see you tomorrow